this video was highly requested and you guys want me to well i've been stressed out lately so i'm gonna have some therapy and massage on my feet i'm wearing my victoria's secret slippers Ooh, it smell good yeah, okay. It kind of stinks a little bit. So, I'm going to get my toes on this week. Um, I will be using Shea Butter Coconut Oil, my favorite. Yes, my favorite. I broke a nail. I had... I don't remember how, but I broke a nail, so this is like an emergency. So, I've really been working out a lot, so my feet and my legs hurt a lot lately. So, I wanted to do mm, it, smells so yummy. It's Sea Island kind, I love it. Mm. I hope everybody's doing okay. Sorry, I haven't been doing no live. It's just been a lot of. If you guys want to watch this, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share, and donate. Well, let's get. I really been my legs hurt a lot. I don't know why. This weather doesn't help it either. This is one of my favorite creams. You guys know I love Victoria's Secret. I love it. And they come out with this new line, I think. But this one has shea butter and coconut oil. The reason I like it is because when you put the cream on, it feels very, very fresh. I don't know what it is. And you don't need to put oils or anything of the sort of, you know, because it has shea butter and oil. If you guys, um, my allergies are a little bit gone, so I'm so excited for that. You guys know I had some allergies. So, you grab from here, I don't know what is this called, but the top of your foot, and you hold down. Because you guys know that you have tendons here. So, I grab that and I pull it down. And it makes your feet open. Let me turn it so you guys can see. You grab here and you pull. I'm going to show you the top and then I'll show you the bottom. I've been working out a lot lately. Like, a lot. So I needed a massage. I haven't done a massage video for quite some time and this way so you guys can see and can you believe yesterday it snowed I thought it was lies hey everybody say hi to the haters got some very nice emails lately but it's okay I really need this massage because oh, I don't know what it is. It's like pain and I don't get it. Well, let's make it better.
and comment down below to see what color you want me to put on my nails. Oh, and these slippers. They have this, this smell to it. I like this stink a little bit. If you guys want them, let me know. Let me know if you want them. My nail is almost grown. You guys see? It's almost grown. Remember that I chipped my nail. Oh my god, this is the first time that honestly that I chipped my nail like that bad. Like I never, never chipped my nail like that ever. But that's all right. It's not a big deal because everything happens for a reason, right? But that hasn't stopped me from making videos. No, it hasn't. How was everybody's Easter? Mine was great. I went to church. I stood the whole mass. I was there. I actually understood what you guys were, one of you guys were telling me. You know, like, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. It wasn't my intention. I wanted to be real with you guys, but you guys were right. I should have at least researched what I was talking about, you know? How about just being me? I'm not a rude person, so I understand you guys' feelings. So I'm sorry if I offended anyone or anybody. I didn't mean to. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted you guys to hear my point of view. Every time I feel on my legs I don't know what it is I have usually sometimes I have pain on my legs I guess because I work out right and I do a lot of leg work but when I do that I wake up and I have like pain like here like here here like right there right here so this one is done Woo. this one I like this one so when I have that pain on my legs I actually do massages on my feet and it makes me feel so much better I don't know what it is maybe your tendons are like picked up like I don't know like sometimes you work out right and you don't stretch the right way or you don't warm up the right way your tendons they're supposed to be like this right let's pretend I'm not a medical or did I go to school for it but I'm thinking right so your tendons are like this so when something gets pulled I'm thinking like they became become like this and in order for them to you have to like stretch the right way, right? But sometimes, how much can you stretch, right? Like I stretch honestly like maybe 10 minutes and then I do some jumping jacks and then some little bit of cardio. So I usually stretch a lot, you know? So you see, if I pull it up, it opens. <laughs> so, 
I'm thinking like maybe I need to stretch more. But you know, like if I do an hour and a half of exercise and I already have everything planned, if I do another 30 minutes, it's horrible because then I'm going to be there for two hours. And you guys know I don't have that much time. And sometimes I don't even have time for an hour and a half because I have the kids and the kids are here. I'm, you know, they're, they're off vacation. I have to watch them and be with them, you know. I like them when they're home because I have them with me. I can know what's going on. No. Sometimes they're like, oh my god, they don't listen, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do that. And, but when I see them, yeah, they're happy, and even though they don't do anything, you know, even, if, even if we're home, even if everything is. You know, even if we're in my room, right? So we're in my room and we're watching some movies and they're eating popcorn. That makes me happy because they're with me, you know? And I'm with them and like, so something happened at church and I was sad. You know, my kids, you guys know their special needs, so they are, they don't know about church because, like I said, I don't know anything, like, I don't, I don't go to church, okay? Let me say that because I don't want it, somebody to get offended, but I don't go to church. The only day I go to church is Easter. Why? Because... You know, the baby daddy, he always used to go to church with his mom when he was young. So he's trying to implicate that in their life so they could have, like, that only that day that they go to church. So I was there. So it was his family. And it was him and the kids. And we went to a Spanish mass because his parents speak Spanish. And he always used to go when he was young, so he wanted him, them to go in Spanish. So that's the only day that we actually go to church. So we were there, and they were like, oh, you know, Dad, like, why did you bring me here if I don't understand Spanish? And he's like, so he was trying to, you know, while he's watching the father, you know, speak and everything else, he was explaining to them in English, what does it mean, you know, like, so then he sat down and he put, like, the thing that you laid down, like, you put it on the floor and then you put your knees, right, to pray. So then my son was looking at him. He said, like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm praying. He said, like, what does that mean? And mind you, he's seven years old and he is autistic. So then he's like, you know, I'm praying. I'm praying for you to be healthy so we could take care of you, you know, for grandma to be okay, blah, 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 you know, all those things. So then he's like, so why should I pray for? And then he said, oh, you should pray for mommy and daddy to be healthy. So we all have all the time that we can for you to be ready because, you know, like, you want us to be okay, for your sister to be okay. So it made me sad because it's very hard for me to think that they're going to get older and that I'm going to get older and eventually, you know, it's very hard to to think about the future when you have two special needs kids, you know? So it really hit me hard and I told him, I'm like, I think we should take the kids to church, you know, every Sunday because... I don't think I'm going to do it just for me because you guys know I don't go to church. I just want to do it because, like I said, I'm, I don't believe on it, but I don't want them to not have a choice 
And honestly, they behave so well. The one that I was really annoying was me that I wanted to leave. But after I left church, I felt like I could peace, you know? Because before we couldn't even sit down for like 10 seconds. And now they were, this is a year that they were there for like 45 minutes of the church. So I was really proud of them. I was upset because I couldn't find the song because I usually used to go when I was small to church for the songs. But I was proud of them and I'm going to try to take them every Sunday, I think. For, I think it's good if they want to know and they want to ask. You know, I have no answers, but they could hear from the church, you know, like, I don't want them to be like forced to go. But if my daughter is telling, Mom, are we going to go back to church? And if she likes it, I'm going to be like, if you want to go, we could go. And she was excited. She wanted to go. She thought that we were going to come this Sunday, but we can. So I was very happy for her and I guess you know even if I don't believe on it and they like it why would I stop them from you know I don't want to be a, a selfish mom you know I want to be the best mom I can be the only thing is that I was I don't know I didn't want them I don't want to force them to do what they didn't want to do so that's why I didn't take him. And because I didn't I don't believe on it. And it doesn't mean it's it's bad, you know. If it's better for us mentally and physically for us to go to release all the stress, because you guys know I live in a stress. So I really wanted to to tell you guys what happened on Sunday. And thank you so much to one of your subscribers that made me realize that. I'm not going to say your name, but you know who you are. And I'm sorry if I disrespect anybody. I just want to be real, you know. And sometimes I don't have a filter. So thank you so much for letting me know that that wasn't okay, which it wasn't okay. Mm. <sighs> I, now I feel better. I feel that I did what I had to do. And honestly, we were not going to go. We were not going to go to church. But something. Listen, and it was crazy because we went to church. We were late, not late. We were like, oh my God, we're going to be late because where we go, usually there's no parking and then the parking, you never find parking. You never, like never find parking. So no lie, we found parking so quick. As soon as we got there, there was parking. I'm like, oh my God. We had, I think, 15 minutes to spare. We went to have breakfast because I didn't eat anything. And I was about to faint. And then... We had something to eat and we went and we stayed below mass, which is like 45 minutes, I think. So I was I was really impressed of the kids, you know. Honestly, I was the one with the pain. I was like, oh I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. But I was thinking like maybe they were feeling uncomfortable. I was hungry too. But no, they were fine. They were asking questions, they were intrigued. Because like I said, I want them to have a choice, you know, like my parents used to take me to church every Sunday and I used to fall asleep. So I didn't want to feel that I was doing that to them because I hated it. But it was, it was a good time. It was a good time and I wanted them to experience them for themselves. Well, they were little. I couldn't even stay five minutes, honestly. But now that they're 
grown and maybe they're understanding. The only thing is they didn't understand what it was going on. So, but it was fine. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my video. Remember, comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Woo! Share with everybody and all your friends. Remember to add me to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you want to send me a letter or packet, I'll put my PO box down below. If you want to show me some love and appreciation, guys, donate to my channel, which is down below. Guys, my hats are almost sold now. Make sure you get one of them. It's 25 within the United States with shipping and outside the United States with, with shipping. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Honestly, I feel so well because this cream is like to die for.